Question number two. Do lions and tigers have trouble giving birth to hybrid cubs? There have been statements made that the mothers of ligers and tigons have trouble giving birth to their young, since ligers and tigons are genetically different from their mothers, being tigers and lions. Sometimes you'll hear that they require a caesarean section, or c-section as it's sometimes called. That's a surgery to allow the birth of a young animal that otherwise could cause, or has caused, complications for the mother. This could be indicated by a number of factors, including that the baby is too large for the mother to give birth to naturally, or some other medical complication which would prevent either the baby or mother from surviving if the surgery were not performed. While a caesarean section birth is somewhat common in humans, and is medically necessary in some breeds of dogs, it is not typical for big cats except under certain circumstances in some zoological parks. In these cases, the surgery is performed for the convenience of the keepers and the well-being of the young animals, so that the young animals can be tended to right away to protect them from illness, disease, or accidental death. This is typically seen in the care of some severely endangered species, but is generally for the convenience of the humans involved, because then the timing of the birth can be more accurately determined, rather than to sit and wait, yet be ready to act at a moment's notice. When it comes to producing ligers and tigons, however, there is no evidence that there is any increased medical need for caesarean section births, nor even that it is typical in breeding for ligers or tigons. Other times you'll hear that ligers and tigons are born prematurely. The normal gestation for big cats is around 105 days. That's 15 weeks. That's longer than it takes for a female dog to have her puppies, but less than half the time for a human baby to be born. Now, I said around 105 days. That's usually just an educated guess, because no one really knows just when conception occurred, and from which mating. Big cats mate many times while the female is in heat, so no one can really know exactly which mating is the one that produced the young ligers or tigons, so it's very hard to know exactly when they'll be born. Sometimes it takes a little longer, sometimes not quite as long, but knowing it's around 105 days helps. Currently, there's no evidence in the form of either scientific studies or observational papers published in scientific journals that indicates that animals pregnant with ligers or tigons are prone to having premature births. Prey animals that don't have dens generally give birth during the daytime so the mothers can see if there are any predators around or threats to her safety. Prey animals that do have dens, whether for living or only for raising of the young, give birth at any time because of the dark and secure nature of the den. Most predators, on the other hand, give birth to their young late at night or in the very early morning hours while it's still dark out. This is because most animals aren't up and about at that time, including other predators, so it's the safest time for them to give birth as while being born and shortly after birth is the time the young animals are at their most vulnerable, as is their mother. Because of this, it's incredibly hard to photograph any big cat giving birth apart from in a captive, pet setting where the owner is present consistently and the animal generally accepts the assistance or interference somewhat like when puppies are born, compared to the more generally reclusive nature of house cats. Due to the predilection for nocturnal births, it would be severely problematic to the breeder to have the, an animal that both requires assistance at these unusual times, but doesn't give any general indication for the need of assistance, except right at that very moment, if you happen to catch it. This is clearly demonstrated in certain breeds of dogs which have difficulty in whelping their litters of pups due to their particular physique. But unlike dogs, in a zoological setting, the proximity of the keepers to the animals poses a difficulty in being able to determine it's that time. These sort of issues are not scientifically documented for the birth of ligers and tigons in the way they have been for other species, so it's very illogical to state that lions and tigers have more trouble giving birth to hybrid cubs than they normally do when there's no scientific or medical proof to back up that sort of statement. Realistically, there isn't anything more unusual about the births of ligers or tigons than the births of lions or tigers or any other animal for that matter.